This video details how to connect AngelIron with QuickBooks and how you can get the most out of the integration. AngelIron integrates with QuickBooks Online Plus, all country editions, using the latest Intuit Integration API for QBO, which is short for QuickBooks Online. AngelIron is listed on the Intuit App Center as a QuickBooks Pro Advisor pick with five-star reviews. You can sign up for a free trial of AngelIron there and your AngelIron trial will automatically connect to your QBO company file. AngelIron also integrates with QB desktop products, Professional, Premier and Enterprise, the U.S. versions only. But this video will focus only on the QuickBooks online integration. If you are not an accountant, some of the detailed material that follows in this video may seem foreign. But not to worry, our implementation team will work with your team and or your accountant to help with this setup process and configure it to meet your business needs. Before integrating AngelIron to QuickBooks, there is a standard chart of accounts that must first be set up in QBO. If you already have an existing QuickBooks subscription, many of these accounts will already be set up. However, there are several elements that will need to exit or be created specifically for the AngelIron connection so the relevant data can flow smoothly to the right buckets in QBO for proper accounting. The minimum QuickBooks company file requirements to interface effectively with AngelIron can be found in the user guide. Compare this list to your current QBO chart of accounts and add the elements missing as needed. To make the connection to QuickBooks, if you have not done so already via signing up for a trial from QBO, log into AngelIron and go to Settings, QuickBooks. Select the Setup tab at the top, then click the Connect to QuickBooks button. The Connection Wizard will walk you through the process of logging into your Intuit QBO account and connecting to your QuickBooks company file. On the first screen, enter your login credentials for your QBO instance and click Sign In. If you have more than one QuickBooks company file, be sure to select only the file that you wish to connect to AngelIron. Next, select the Authorize button to allow the sharing of data between AngelIron and Intuit. When finished, the QuickBooks company file lists information that was imported into AngelIron automatically at the end of the connection process. The entities that were imported into AngelIron from QuickBooks include Company Information, Chart of Accounts, Item List, Payment Method List, Sales Tax Authorities, Sales Tax Categories, now that these elements have been synced to AngelIron, we will configure the default accounting settings for transactions. Select the Configuration tab to begin. In this step, we will design the various default behaviors for exporting transactions into QuickBooks. We'll highlight the most important settings in this video. Detailed information on each step in this process can be found in the User Guide. Orders Export Status and Dates Use the Import Sales, Purchase Orders with Status fields to select the status in which orders will export to QuickBooks. For Sales Orders, Created refers to all orders in the AngelIron system created from any sales channel. Sales orders that are not fully paid would be exported as invoices. Use this only if you expect to process invoices and payments through QuickBooks. If Managing Invoices in QuickBooks Online, we can enable the webhooks feature that allows the invoices in AngelIron to be marked paid when the invoice is paid in QBO by selecting the Enable QuickBooks webhook checkbox. Completed refers to only orders that are completed transactions, meaning orders that have reached both the paid and shipped status. Sales orders are exported to QuickBooks as sales receipts if this status is selected. For purchase orders, selecting Received exports purchase orders as bills to QuickBooks once the products have been received from the vendor. When managing payables in QuickBooks Online, if a vendor invoice is marked Paid in QBO, we can enable the Webhooks feature that allows the PO to be marked Paid in AngelIron by selecting the Enable QuickBooks Webhook checkbox. The Use as Transaction Date determines the date that will be associated with the orders when synced to QBO. Enable Auto Sync. Selecting this checkbox enables automatic sync of sales purchase orders, 
sales returns, and inventory adjustments to QBO. The sync occurs at the designated frequency. Default is every two hours. Enable Summary Sync. Selecting this checkbox enables sync of transactions as summaries instead of individual transactions. For example, for retail sales or Amazon eBay sales orders. Sales Orders. For Invoice Account, select the AR account in which invoices will be recorded in QuickBooks if managing receivables in QBO. For Sales Order Discount Item, select the QBO item to which discounts will be recorded in QuickBooks. If using ShipStation, selecting the Sync Shipping Freight and Delivery Costs checkbox will sync shipping costs into QuickBooks for each sales order. Selecting Sync Sales Order Description, the checkbox syncs the sales order description to QuickBooks. Purchase Orders For Accounts Payable Account, select the AP account in which the bills created for the purchase orders will be recorded in QuickBooks. For purchase order discount item, select the QBO item in which PO discounts will be recorded in QuickBooks. For sync PO due date, if this checkbox is selected, the PO due date will sync to QuickBooks. For enable PO partial sync, selecting this checkbox enables the syncing of partially received POs to QuickBooks. Items the mapping here relates to the default mapping for products in AgileIron when products are created manually. Set the income, expense, for services only, asset, and COGS accounts here. Select the Track COGS and Inventory Asset in QB checkbox to enable the sync of inventory of COGS values to QuickBooks. Shipping The mapping for the shipping fields are pulled from lists products and services in QuickBooks. Select a QBO item enabled for the sales order shipping item and the QBO item enabled for the purchase order shipping item. Taxes. The mapping here relates to the default tax setting for sales orders created manually in AgileIron. This data comes from the tax authorities that have been created in QuickBooks. Make the appropriate selection here. The default tax rate and agency will display once selected. If using TaxCloud or Avalara for dynamic sales tax rates, make the connection under Settings, Auto Sales Tax Rate Providers, and then select the corresponding provider. You must also map the Sales Order Sales Tax Account if using one of these providers, otherwise this can be left unmapped. For Sales Purchase Order Sales Tax Item, make a selection to map sales tax from Sales and Purchase Orders. This data comes from the items under Lists. Products and Services in QuickBooks. Select a QBO item enabled for Sales for Sales Order Sales Tax Item and a QBO item enabled for Purchasing for Purchase Order Sales Tax Item. Once the desired fields are mapped, click Confirm Settings to save the changes. Payment Methods. The next set of mappings will occur under Settings, Payment Methods. Here you will map the accounts in which different payment types will post to QuickBooks. You can create a new payment method using the New Payment Methods button if necessary, or edit any of the existing payment methods. To edit an existing payment method, select a payment method from the list. Select a deposit refund account where funds received using this payment method will deposit into and a QuickBooks method to map this payment method to. If this is a new payment method you have just created, be sure to select the Active checkbox to the left. Click the Save button to finish. Continue through the list until the remaining payment methods have been mapped. Inventory Adjustments The next set of mappings will occur under Settings, Adjustments. Here you will map the accounts in which inventory adjustments will post to QuickBooks. You can create a new adjustment using the New Adjustment button if necessary, or edit an existing adjustment reason. To edit an existing adjustment reason, select an item from the list. You can edit the adjustment reason name or leave as is, then select an account name. Click the Save button to finish. 
Continue through the list until the remaining adjustment reasons have been mapped. The final set of mappings is in the products that you create in the system. Navigate to New, New Product. In the New Product form, you will see a panel for accounting information with fields for Income Account, the account where income from the sale of this product is recorded, COGS Account, the Cost of Goods Sold Account, where the cost of the product is recorded, Asset Account, the Inventory Asset Account, where the inventory of this product is incremented or decremented on purchase or sale respectively, QuickBooks Item, the QuickBooks item that this product should be mapped to when syncing transactions to QuickBooks. It is important to note here that this mapping can be doing one-to-one -one matching, that is, matching one product in Agileiron to one item in QuickBooks, if that level of financial granularity is needed, or many-to-one, that is, many products in Agileiron to one QuickBooks item. As an example, all products in a product category, like women's apparel, may flow into one QuickBooks item. The choice of granularity here is one for your accountant. Agile Iron is flexible to support what makes sense for your business financial needs. Once these mappings are complete, you are now ready to sync transactions to QuickBooks. Navigate to Accounting, QuickBooks Export on the left menu panel. On this screen, you will see tabs relating to sales orders, purchase orders, sales returns, and inventory adjustments. By default, the sales order list appears first. The view for this screen can be controlled under Orders, Sales Orders. Select the QuickBooks Sales Orders view from the View drop-down list. This view can be edited by clicking the gear icon and selecting Edit for this custom view. You can choose to apply filters here to exclude orders from certain sources. For example, if you do not want sales from a certain channel to sync to QuickBooks, you can use filters to exclude the channel. You can also modify the columns that you see in the view to include custom fields in which you might want visibility. The QuickBooks Sync view for purchase orders can be edited under Orders, Purchase Orders, and select QuickBooks Orders. The QuickBooks Sync view for sales returns can be edited under Orders, Sales Returns and select QuickBooks Sales Returns. More information about editing custom views can be found in the User Guide. Returning to the QuickBooks Export, select the checkbox next to the order or orders you want to sync to QuickBooks. Select the Sync to QuickBooks button and select OK when the pop up box appears. The spinning wheel indicates the process is working. Once sync is complete, a progress box will appear with the results of the sync. If there are no sync errors, click the close button to finish. If enable auto sync had been turned on, as we discussed earlier in this video, then the process we just saw to sync the transaction would happen automatically in the background without a user having to manually run the sync. We would recommend running the first few transactions manually to confirm that they are flowing in the way you would like them to, and then turn on the auto mode after that. In the event the sync results indicate an error, the message box will display the error and may contain information on how to fix the problem. The most common sync errors occur when products do not contain all fields required for accounting mapping. Other times, errors can occur when edits deletes have been made in QuickBooks to chart of accounts and the item list and settings have not been updated in Agile Iron to reflect these changes. When the orders have been synced, select the next tab for Purchase Orders, Sales Returns, or Inventory Adjustments, and sync transactions for each module. Once all transactions have been synced, you can open QuickBooks and view the transactions from Agileiron. Sales can be viewed under All Sales or by Customer. In this example, we'll look at the sales for a particular customer. Select the customer name under Sales, Customers. 
you'll see the Agile Iron Sales Order Number in the Number field. Select the Sales Receipt to view. You'll see all the order details along with the sales order number, stock location, and channel information in the memo field. If you would like to have your sales channel's income to break out into classes in QuickBooks, Agile Iron can support that. Simply turn on Classes in QBO and create classes with the same name as the sales channels in Agile Iron under Settings, Channels. Then ask Agile Iron Support to turn on classes. Here is an example of a sales receipt with classes turned on. Purchase orders can be viewed as bills under expenses. For this example, we'll view a bill for a particular vendor. Select the vendor name under Expenses, Vendors. You'll see the Agile Iron Purchase Order Number in the Number field. Select a bill to view. You'll see all the order details, along with the purchase order number and stock location, in the memo field. Sales returns can be viewed under All Sales as a refund receipt or a credit memo, depending on whether it was paid or pending payment to customer. For this example, we will look at a refund receipt. You will see all the return details here. Inventory adjustments are recorded as journal entries and can be found in the QuickBooks account in which they were mapped under Settings, Adjustments. For this example, we can navigate to the Inventory Adjustments account and view the journal entries created by Agile Iron. That summarizes the integration of Agile Iron with QuickBooks Online. Please visit agileiron.com slash tour for additional videos that cover the full capabilities of the Agile Iron Solution Suite.